What's up, people? Dobbs Rules is right here, and welcome to December. I mean, December? Not December. Wait a minute. We're going back in time? Nah. Welcome to January, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, the new year has started. 2024 is here, and guess what? It's my birthday month. Holy crap, people. And you guys know what happens when it comes to my birthday month? It's a whole month of pack openings, baby. So, and also to start the new year. We finally got ourselves a new supporter of the channel. We have ourselves Funky Figures. Now, these guys are working mainly on Pop Final Figures and Pokemon cards. They are trying their hardest to try and get themselves into Yu-Gi-Oh! They're working on it. Hopefully in the near future they will get themselves some Yu-Gi-Oh! products. But for the time being, they're doing that at the minute, but they've been getting absolutely amazing crazy things. If you guys want to buy stuff on them, please do check out their shop at St. Berry or Rowington or Wigan. These are the three stores that you have. The one I always go to is the one in Berry. So if you guys want to see me in real life, make sure you pop down there because I'm there nearly every single day making sure I can get the stuff that I need. And also, find them themselves on social media. You've got yourselves their Instagram, Facebook and their WhatsApp if you want to go and give them a call. Anything else you want, they're the best things to check out. So please do check them out. And I'll leave the bio in the description. But today's episode, to start off my birthday month, we're going to finally open up the last lot I have from Japan. It's been a long, long time waiting for this, but we are opening up two boost boxes of this. Two different boost boxes altogether, but it looks like they're colliding with each other. We have this reddish black one here, and then we have a white and black one here. I'm not 100% sure what sets these are called, they will be on the, on the actual title so you guys have an idea. But there is 66 cards each in this set and it looks like the best cards to go after are there's 4 of them and there's 4 of them. 9, 18, 31. So 31 probably will be the commons, 18 probably will be the normal rares, 9 will be super, 4 ultras and probably 4 god cards. Maybe, we do not know, that's my prediction. I paid 1,800 yen for this one and I paid 1,650 yen for these so do it, do it cheap people, very do it cheap and some of the cards you can get in these sets are quite expensive too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the first box and we'll open up the second box as well at the same time. But we will, I will try my hardest with future me to look up on eBay, sale auctions, card, card resellers to find out the exact same price of these cars that I pulled today. Because I have no idea what the value worth of these lot is. And what I found out when I did the last ones, that gold card was quite expensive. But as well as that, there was another card in that set that was worth 10 times the value. Holy crap, people, that's insane. But anyhow, I'm gonna put this one to the side first, and let's see what this booster box will consist of. So you get yourself uh, nine cards in a pack, and there's 15 packs in a booster box. So that's quite a good ratio there, people. I'm going to keep the booster box to the side as my momentum. My, my momentum. So let's go ahead and get it started. First pack, let's see what we can get. I'm going to open them up from the bottom because it's a lot, lot easier for what I know. A lot of people like to pull it from the sides, but that's where you damage the actual cards. So, yep, you get commons here. That looks like cute. Very cute indeed. We got a spell card. I do remember that Cyber Lizard, I think it was. Is that a Dark World monster? Oh, wow. Okay, some sort of Shogun. And then we have a rare. Oh, it's like a, a chicken box or a mimic box. Quite cool. Level 7, 2300 attack points. I'm not going to sleeve them up right from the very get go, people, because, like I said, these are Japanese cards and I do want to check the value before I sleeve them. Any of the big high, high rarity cards, I will sleeve them up. Nice little trap card. Nice, we got a man and man and horse. Searing a stake, okay. Um mech lords. And another rare. I'm not gonna put the prices up for the rares though, people, just let me know because I know 100 percent certain that the rares you guarantee the rares anyway. It's the holographics that we need to know about. So I will check them out later. Okay, some sort of machine type monsters in this deck. Oh! Okay. That's quite cool. That's like a super rare, an all-out super rare there. Spell card. That looks cool. And you do get yourself a rare in it as well. That's good. So that's our first holo rare right here. Uh, JP053. Okay. Let's leave that up. 
Uh, that's a ginormous sleeve. I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, that. Nope. Where's all the small sleeves? Here we are. Is that a small sleeve? No, that's a ginormous one. Where the frig are all them coming from? Here we are. That's better. There's our first super rare right there. Looks quite cool. Like it. Put that to the side. So possibly in a boost box you probably get maybe two or three supers and then maybe one ultra rare, I think. Because remember, there's only 15 packs in a booster box, so there's that. That card reminds me of something. A Z. Oh, that's a cute armadillo there. Fire armadillo, by the look of it. Firehound. Oh, like a jackpot card. And some of these cards do remind me of old cards from the past, so possibly they are the originals. They've just probably been revamped into newer versions. And don't forget people, there is legendary cards in these sets as well, so you could find some very good common legend cards. Okay. And there's a super rare, there we go, we got another one. Uh, it looks like some sort of rare wolf. Quite cool. And another one that looks like I've seen before. Very strange, aren't they, when you find cards that look like monsters that you used in the past. That's another level 7 right there. That's cool. Come on, focus for me. Thank you. We'll try and speed it up as well, though, people, because like I said, when you've opened up a few of these packs, you will probably will see quite a lot of doubles. But they do look good in my eyes. Oh! What is that? Is that like some sort of... Sh That's like got a shatter on it. Shatter foil secret rare by the look of it. Oh, it's textured as well. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Wow, that was it. There was no even hollow in there. This could be a very expensive card. Let's go. Another level seven and it's a fire type as well. Okay. Wow. Let's leave that bad boy up. I think that's the best card in the set possibly. We'll find out later on in the future when I go ahead and check the prices. Nice, we got two supers and one very glittery secret ultra rare by the look of it. Because it's got gold, it's got gold writing on the damage step, so that could look like an ultra. But the texture feels like an ultimate, but there's glitter and everything, like secret. Don't have a clue what it could be. I've seen that card before a few times. Oh, drop the pack, there we go. Drop that and put that back in the bin. Dark World cards by the look of it. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that's an Ultra! Oh, so I got a good card there. That must be a really good card. And that looks like some sort of... Does that look like Stardust almost? But that's a nice Ultra rare right there. Nice spell card. I like the look of it. I'll take that any day. An Ultra rare. So we got two supers, one ultra and then possibly one secret or glitter hollow or something or ultimate. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got a clue what that rarity is. It's new to me. And that looks like that looks like a baby ver like a young version of a red eyes. Looks cool. But it's a light monster, but it looks like a dark, strangely enough. Okay, let's keep looking and see what else we can find. BBQ, so barbecue. Oh, there's a super rare. Nicely done. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's eating steak. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. Oh, he's adorable. Look at that little boy. Well, nice. We've got ourselves another super rare. I'll take that any day. So we pulled ourselves three supers, one ultra, and one very special card there. Next pack, come on, what can we get? So we've got some sort of cookie house, fire armadillo, another rare, oh that's got the um, the ace card for the new, for Rush Jewel, that's quite cool. I think it's called Seven Star Magician, I think. Must be a very, very good card, like Dark Magician, for all we know. Okay, some sort of photon look of, looking card. Let's 
So lucky. I'm gonna get ourselves another ultra. Oh, speaking of the devil, we got another ultra. Let's go. So you get two ultras, three supers, and then probably one special card. That's really cool. That looks like a wing beast type of monster. Like wing or oh, beast warrior. <laughs> Excuse me. The very nice card. I like the look of that a lot. Very cool. And two packs left of this set. <laughs> then we can move on to the other set. Which possibly could have even better pulls for all we know. And that has the same ratio by the look of it. Barbecue again. Oh, damn! Um, is that Chimera Mantis number two? Wow, a revamp card. That's cool to see. Nice to see something retro that I definitely have seen before. Final pack of magic. Let's see what we get from this last from this first booster box. And an elephant. Okay. Sweet. So I think we did well there for the first booster box. We got ourselves that boss of a monster right here. Looks cool as hell. Then we get two ultras and three supers. Very nice indeed. But let's see what the other booster box consists of. We have also got the normal rares, but we'll put them to the side there. And let's have a look at this next booster box. So again, nine cards in a pack. And there's 15 packs, and these are black and white. So let's see what this gives us and see what um, rarity bumps are or what rehash of old school cards could be in here that we may know, that we may know and love. That looks cool. It looks like it, it's freaking Ariel. What are you doing in the bath? Ariel! It's freaking King Trident, some sort of robotic comedian. Oh, it's Armadillo! That's the um, clock, um, Armored Armadillo. That's really good, and a cool revamp card. And some sort of shield, as a rare. So our first, uh, another card that we've seen from the very, very past of Yu-Gi-Oh! Getting a new reprint. Some sort of baseball arena stadium card. And we got a super rare, okay, that's nice. And some sort of fire lion. Ooh, I like the look of that too. Let's leave this super air up. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. I love chicken nugget. I love sexy banana. Oh, wow. I love the look of the artwork, people. It looks cool. And that's a fusion card as well. Some sort of King Cobra? What? These look cool as hell, these fusions. I'm loving these cards a lot. Why can we not have Rush Jewel in the UK? Possibly because a lot of people don't like Speed Jewel, and so they're thinking, right, Rush Jewel, sack that, we won't bring it to the United Kingdom. Oh my god, another classic card. And an Ultra Rare! Ooh, this looks cool as well. Level 7, 2500 attack, 1500 defense. That looks nice. It's like some sort of reborning phoenix. I like that a lot. Whew. We don't find any legend cards here either. Which is strange, but either way, I like the look of them a lot. Let's have a look at these ones. Okay, there's some sort of weird um, platypus. Okay, what is this monster? That's quite cool as well, quite adorable. What, is that like some sort of kraken? Oh, baby, look at him! I'm a lizard! Back again! Oh, that's like LOB era. That's Legend of Blue Eyes Right Dragon decks. Oh, wow. Good to see him come back from the dead. I said, why am I sleeping up the rare? Oh, screw it. He's cool. I like him. He's a rare. I'll, I'll sleeve him up anyway. 
Let's keep looking. Let's see what other cards are in this set. Mist. I've got a super rare. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it's got scissors. Oh, look at this dude. This guy looks badass. Look at him. Some sort of bike with electric coming out of him. Dude, he looks mint. Well, let's go see what the super rare though. That's quite cool. Level one. Let's try and focus on the card for once. There we go. Focus, please. Thank you. And we have another one of these weird comedians. Let's see what we can get here. Come on. Looks quite cool this card. Shot shark. She looks adorable. She looks amazing. Look at her. These fusion cards look ace. That's a level nine. 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. It's like a blue eyes. They've done so well on Rush Jewel cards. I don't understand. It's like, come on, Konami, bring Rush Jewel to the United Kingdom. It'd be freaking mint. I'll put more money to this than anything else. Oh, that looks cute as well. <laughs> All I need to know is learn how to play the rules, and it should be A OK to play right away. It should be a lot easier to know the rules. We've got King Trident. Wow, that looks cool. That looks menacing as anything. Some sort of ship. We've only pulled three super rares at the minute. Uh, no, two supers, one ultra. We've not pulled anything else yet, so this could be a dud box for all we know. Right, we've got myself our armadillo once again. Oh, we got a super rare. Oh, it's her again. Okay. I like the look of her. She looks cool as well. Leave that one up. And that's three supers and one ultra. And we've only got three packs left. This could be a dud box for all we know. Could we have been extremely lucky and to pull that box that card in that in that box? Possibly. King Trident. Some of these rares are quite awkward. Like the vanilla cards, but could possibly be good cards for all we know. Another armored card, armored monster. There's an ultra! Oh, that looks meant! It's Sephiroth! The, the Heavenly Lord! Possibly! <laughs> that looks cool! Dude, these artworks look amazing. Whoever is the actual illustrator of these artwork of these cars, they need a raise. These are phenomenal artwork. Loving that. So we've got two ultras and uh, the rest were supers. So still, this book pack could potentially have a god pack, a god card in here, or it could be just a dud. So possibly we must have been extremely lucky to pull that card. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, that first booster box must have been extremely lucky to pull that. So I'll know that for sure next time when I open up another box, but in this booster box we got two ultras right here. That's my one of my favourites by the look of it. And then you have these three supers. Possibly the first boost box was worth way more, but this, that card looks amazing either way, so I'm loving that. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and please, please do check out Funky Figures, because it helps out a lot. It'll help me out as well, but it helped him out to get more customers down to them shops, because they definitely do need all that support, because remember, they are a small community shop, so every bit of help will always go a long way for them. And if you want to sell some stuff to them, please do. They're always asking for it. With that being said, the people of Lucas, see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! That's such a great booster box. Well, let's go and carry on with more Rush Jewel. Oh, baby. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!